to start out with Chuck Hagel because he's uh, what's top on the minds of the Pentagon, I think. From what you know of Chuck Hagel, and he would be the first enlisted man ever to run the Pentagon, uh, the first Vietnam vet, it, from what you know, what sort of reception would he get from the military? I, I think it would be fine. Uh, I know Senator Hagel. He was on my oversight committee when I was uh, in the intelligence community. He was a member, and this is not a universal condition. He was a member that you could talk to, have an honest dialogue, not necessarily disagree, but on a personal basis, have a candid exchange of views. You could always speak with him. And frankly, given my time in, in uniform, that's a tremendous attribute. So I, I actually think this will work out well. And you wrote in, in your book about the, the, the uh, trust deficit that happens when the military gets used to a new person. Now, you were talking about the president at the time. But I wonder if, if having a Pentagon chief with the credentials of have fought in a war um, sort of helps with the trust deficit. I don't think it's a prerequisite, but I think it's very helpful. And I think it'll start off. And then, of course, he'll build relationships as he goes. He's already got a lot of credibility. And I, I don't think it'll be a problem. And do either of you see any red flags? You look at it, this is a man who's talked about the Pentagon's bloated. There's too much. I mean, you've heard the criticism of any red flags out there. For you look, all. these are issues that any incoming secretary is going to have to face. We all know that. Now, I give a broad macro view. If, if, if you look at the outgoing team and the incoming team, from, from a, a Gates and a Clinton, Gates, Panetta, uh, compare it to the new guys, all right, which would be Kerry and Hagel and then John Brennan. On balance, I think the new team thinks more like the president thinks when it comes to foreign policy. This is going to be a team that might not push back as much with regard to cuts or withdrawals or smaller footprints or reluctance to go with big footprints into new areas. So I think there might be differences in policy, but in terms of the worth of the man for handling the job and his being received there, not at all.